to Undisputed. I'm Jenny Taft with Skip Bayless and Shannon Sharp. Guys, a lot has changed in the yes. last 24 hours since I saw you. How are we doing today? Oh, man, this, this 2020 will not leave us alone. It's always something, and last night was the most stunning of all. Yes. Um, you and I were just discussing. We did not, as we left yesterday, we saw each other. We did not envision no. being here. Whew. Okay. Well, throughout the show, I'll do my best to keep everyone updated if any new developments do come up. But right now, let's just catch everyone up to speed with what happened yesterday in the NBA. The Bucks' decision to boycott Game 5 for the shooting of Jacob Blake sparked boycotts from all other NBA teams that were set to play last night. Bucks guard George Hill said, quote, we're tired of the killings and the injustice. There was also a players meeting last night where the Clippers and Lakers reportedly voted to not continue the remainder of the season. They were the only teams to do so and meetings will continue this morning at 11 Eastern time. So Shannon, I'll start with you. Your reaction to everything that happened yesterday and last night. Skip, um, what I gather is that the NBA players saying this is not business as usual. Um, they said, although we ap appreciate taking down a few monuments, renaming a few schools, a few buildings, taking these uh, uh, Confederate generals' names off of military establishment, Skip, but uh, right now, we need more substance than symbols. And while these symbolic gestures may placate some, mm -hmm. it's not nearly enough. You see, Skip, I, they, they say, what's important to you? And we're starting to see these things that are important to you is becoming distracting from the greater view of things. And it's because we went down here and we have Black Lives Matter t-shirt and how many more and say her name. And as we say her name, there's another name that need to be added to the list. And there's another name that needs to be added to the list. And how many more? That's the question they keep asking. How many more? And they just watched Jacob Blake, seven shots to the back. And then they watched someone come from another town with a long gun and gunned down two people, tried to surrender, and the police like, let him, let him go. He gone right on through. Although they did finally go arrest him. Yeah, finally yeah. go arrest him. Yeah. But mm -hmm. Skip, well, see, when people see this, though, see, Skip, this is the problem that they have. They see a young Tamir Rice with a toy gun, mm -hmm. and they see the police roll up on the scene, and in 12 seconds, he's dead. He's yep. 12. And they see this young man here have the AR-15 running through the streets. He has on gloves. And they wait till the next morning to go arrest him. Mm -hmm. They're like, what? How? Yep. It is so, un I am so proud of the NBA players, Skip. I'm so proud of them. But this is not what they signed up for. A lot of these guys work their entire lives to be in this position. We don't know if and when who will get back to the playoffs, Skip. This might be their one shining moment. Mm -hmm. And they were willing to sacrifice it. This is not a preseason, Skip. This is not an exhibition. They put a hold to the playoffs. They said, look, we're going to have a, have a conversation. We, I'll get to LeBron in a minute. And it says, Skip, we put people in office. What the hell is Lindsey Graham and Nancy Pelosi and Sh Chuck Schumer? What the hell are they there for? Mm. That's what we elected them for, mm -hmm. is to deal with things like this. Yep. So athletes and people like myself that didn't go into politics don't have to deal with it. You're supposed to work for the constituents. Mm -hmm. But what I'm starting to see, Skip, when it comes to up to an election time, everybody wants to get the ball rolling. But you know, black people are not just dying in the streets when it comes to an elect election year. Mm. There's not just inequality in an election year. This goes on year round, but it seems to be you put this on the back burner, deal with your personal agendas, mm -hmm. and then when election comes up, oh, let's get up. Black Lives Matter. We need equality. Hell, we've been needing equality. Skip, this is not new. They make it seem like this 2020, and I get the pandemic, and I get that we haven't seen, you got to go back to 19 or 18, the pandemic. Mm -hmm. But Skip, the inequality in the, so, in the racial injustice, injustice, Skip, that's not new to 2020. Mm. But somehow these politicians think this just came about, and they don't seem mm -hmm. to understand. But so now this is what the players need to do, and everybody say, okay, what's next, what's next? Well, I'm going to give you an idea of what's next. The players have a platform here. Now you have people that's been dealing with these issues mm -hmm. for 40 and 50 years. I got, you know, the National Action Network, the NAACP Legal Defense Fund, African-American Policy Reform, the Advancement Project, mm -hmm. things of those nature. You see, Skip, the NBA players are the computer. 
Mm. But a computer doesn't work without software. So let's merge the two together. Let's take the players and their, and, and, and their platform mm -hmm. and get some resources and give it to people that can advance the ball. That's what we need right now because this is not enough. They say, we're done with this. This is not business as usual. And for LeBron James and the Lakers and Kawhi Leonard and the Clippers say, we'll bounce. We're real about this. For the first time, Skip, you know, you know, you threatened, and I heard George Hill. I was like, and I'm saying to myself, Skip, I said, I don't know. I don't know if George, I don't know if they really do that, Skip. I mean, they're already down there. But there are some players that say, yeah, we absolutely will. And LeBron James says, I want these owners to take more mm -hmm. ownership of this. I, I get the statement with Black Lives Matter, mm -hmm. and I get all this. But we want you to get those contacts. Skip, you know, when you build, build these fancy arenas mm -hmm. and how you go to the local and state level politicians and get things done, how the NFL, when they want to build these new fancy stadiums, how mm -hmm. they go to the local politicians and state politicians and get these things done, mm -hmm. these big dollar donors, that's what we want. You say you care about us. You say you care about these issues. Now, now we want you, we want you to put your money where your mouth is. Mm -hmm. We want to see no more lip service, mm -hmm. no more symbols, substance. Yep. Okay, gut feeling before I take the floor. Season or no season? Finish or no finish? I'm 50-50 right now. Mm. I'm 50-50. Okay. Because as you We've got a long show. As, and it, we, we may know more <laughs> here in the next hour or two. As Udonis Haslam said, mm -hmm. if the Clippers and Lakers leave, what are we staying for? Well, it sounds like the Bucks could be right there also. So that would be the top three teams, <laughs> odds makers teams, exactly. right? Exactly. And that would basically take the heart right out of the playoffs, yeah. right? Adam Silver would. If yeah. that were to happen, if the Bucks, Lakers, and Clippers mm -hmm. pack up and go, he's shutting it down. Mm. Obviously, we don't want to see that happen. No. But let me first say, I loved what the Milwaukee Bucks did. It took me a little by surprise. I think it took the rest of the NBA by Absolutely. surprise. Because they said they didn't expect this. NBA execs, even the Bucks execs, didn't see this coming. Nobody saw this coming outside that locker room. And it didn't happen until there were about five minutes until tip-off. So I'm sure they were going back and forth very emotionally inside Correct. those locker room doors. And if I'm understanding this correctly, LeBron didn't know about this. Uh, Lou Williams and Kawhi and the Clippers did not know about no. this. They had discussed it. They thought there would be a unified front. If they were going to boycott, it would be with a big press conference led right. by Chris Paul and LeBron James as the two faces of the league or the two people at the top of right. the Players Association. And there would be a complete unified front in which all teams would, would in unity, boycott. Correct. But... The Milwaukee Bucks decided at the last second, literally at the last second, with Orlando ready to play out on the court. They're the Magic are out there. They're ready to go. <laughs> they decided, no, this is pretty much a home game for us. Right. This is Kenosha, Wisconsin, which might as well be a Milwaukee suburb. It's about 40, 40 miles. miles. You know, some people, I'm sure, commute into Milwaukee yes. to work. And they obviously took this a little more to heart than any other team mm -hmm. could because it's theirs. Right. It's in their home area state. It's right there for them to have to, to, to come to grips with. And George Hill, as the emotional leader of this team, mm -hmm. I'm not sure he's the on-court leader, right. but he's the emotional leader. Right. He is the out-front spokesman. And he had said just a few days ago, we shouldn't even be in this damn place, Correct. this bubble, That's right? What and I applaud them and I congratulate them for taking a very gutsy plunge that became a resounding statement in this country. I got calls, I got texts from all over the country from friends and relatives saying, can you believe this? No. <laughs> I didn't. Wow. They did that. They did it. And they were the first big domino to fall. And then all of a sudden, across sports last night, Correct. dominoes fell everywhere. And they started it. It was because the Bucks had the guts to plunge. They broke ranks to do it. They, they went prematurely, but they did it. But you know who the big dog was? Yep. Giannis. Well, I'm sure he was. Without, sure was. If, if, I, Gian, I if Giannis you. says we're playing, they're yeah, playing. I, I got it. I got it. So I did love the statement of it. And again, is it going to 
in racism in the United States? No. No. But it was another awakening moment where uh, I can only speak, you know, from the white perspective. I think a lot of white people sat back once again, mm -hmm. as they did in those weeks at, at, through the protests after the George Floyd right. murder in Minneapolis. Yes. And, and it was another enlightenment moment. It was another awakening moment of, wow, they are really serious about this. And we were forced, I was forced to go through a night with no basketball. Mm -hmm. And you know how much I love my NBA mm -hmm. and my NFL. We're going to talk about the NFL in a few minutes yep. here. It hurt, but it hurt in a good way because it just showed how serious these players are about trying to get something done. Yes. Now, I'm going to make the statement one more time. It, it was naive for anybody, including George Hill and the Bucks, to think that all the protests, all the awakening, all the enlightenment, everything you talked about, eradicating those symbols, those statues, mm -hmm. those names, that, that that would eliminate racism within the ranks of the police across this country. No. Because you know and I know Racist cops are already embedded in their jobs. That is correct. They, they were grandfathered in. They're already there. They're in power. They got a badge. And they got a gun. Yeah. And you can't stop their mentality. You, you hoped that some would be awakened enough to say, maybe I should think twice the next time. Maybe. Right. But there's one guy or maybe a couple of guys in Kenosha who didn't get that message. And, and it happened. Skip, I don't, I don't, I don't think George Hill thinks that, you know, after the protest... But what we want is accountability. Accountability. We consequences. Want, yes. Consequences. Because as yes. you mentioned, as those cops are embedded, mm -hmm. the system is also in place. And people say it's a broken system. Yep. It's not. Skip, it's like if when you stick the key in your ignition and turn it over or you push the button and it fires up, the car is not broken. The car did exactly what you were supposed to.